to everyone first and foremost. My question is for you, Genuine. Um, congrats to you on your Urban Icon Award. You definitely are an icon. And I want to ask you about one of your most iconic songs, Pony. <laughs> yes. So we know the song peaked um, at number one on, on the Billboard charts in 96. Um, since then, it's been in numerous movies. It even earned you the title of Grand Marshal at the Pony Swim in Virginia. <laughs> and you also still toured that song in 2021. Um, as an R&B pioneer, do you think R&B artists of today are making standout songs like Pony that you believe will be relevant in decades to come? What would uh, you say? To that? Artists now? Um, yeah, yeah, I believe so. And then, uh, you know, with songs like Pony and stuff like that, you 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 don't know until they become that. You know what I mean? So, right. so it's it's gonna it's gonna take some time for us to find out what artist has made a song that can stand the test of time. I know Angie has made songs like that. My brother sat me on the never wanna mind. <laughs> love it, love it. So you know, it's uh, you never know until the people tell you that that's what it's gonna be. So um, I do like a lot of the artists now, and um, I'm hoping that they stay with it because it definitely is a situation where um, you could uh, prosper and live off, of, live off of that for years and your kids and all that. That's, that's why we, uh, Marvin said that I feel them, but I'm you know, thankful I was, a, a, well, I am a writer as well. So it, it, it's always, you know, if, if, you know if, if it's being used, and it's going to stay out there for a long time. I'm always going to reap the benefits of it and my kids. So it's it's a blessing. And I thank people that's been supporting me since 96. It's, it's definitely been a great ride. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Congrats to everyone.